kids. If we're overloading people yeah. with workload, then they're not getting the thinking time to do things well. Yes. They're not getting the execution time to execute well. Yes. And they're not just getting any headspace to think, how could I do things differently or better? Yeah. So, you know, by overloading people, you, you, you end up with poorer productivity. Yes. Um, and also an, a disengaged and unhappy workforce. How do you keep check on the fact that we're not asking too much from people? Yeah, look, you know, I, to be honest with you, I'm grappling with that at the moment. Yeah. Um, I think you've got to be really aware of um, the, the temperature of your team. Yeah. And you know, one of the things that I'm, I'm trying to get better at for my team at the moment is saying, if we, if we take on more yes. and we can't put more resources against it, what are we going to stop doing? Yeah. Um, because people do have, they, they've got a point, they've got a ceiling. There's yes. only so many hours in the day. I think that that's something for all leaders to be really aware of and to keep a check in with their teams. And when you spot that, you know, there are some resourcing challenges or some stretch challenges to really step in and lean into that and yes. find a way to solve for that. Yeah. Um, because I think that is probably one of the biggest challenges of leadership yes. in, in this current environment is we are all being asked to do more. Thank you.